We're talking about great American and Minnesota made products. And there's a local company celebrating 150 years of providing Minnesotans and the rest of the country with beautiful blankets and other woolen goods. Faribault Woolen Mill started with horsepower 150 years ago, and tomorrow they'll be celebrating their anniversary with a day long party. Joining us now with more on the big milestone is the CEO of Faribault Woolen Mill, Terry Mockentoon. Terry, thanks for coming in. Thank you very much. Beautiful day. 150 years. That's a tremendous accomplishment. What are you guys doing to celebrate? Well, tomorrow I think it's more of a celebration for the state of Minnesota and also for the uh, city of Faribault. What we're having a six or seven hour event tomorrow with bands, different things going on. We've got uh, running of the sheep tomorrow afternoon, a kind of a little bit of our own version of running of the bulls. We've got uh, Target is going to join us for uh, design contests in the afternoon and various different things going on. Let's take a look at some of the things you've brought because... I was admiring this. This is gorgeous. This yeah, is, you said a little bit of throwback? Yeah, this is the concept known as a packer robe. It was introduced back in the 1950s. Really popular during the 50s and 60s during that Memorial Stadium Day back in the University of Minnesota. People would carry this out there. It's a throw that matches the outside of the bag. Uh, this bag was put together for us by Duluth Pack, so it acts as both a suit seat cushion and also the fact that in those that? cold days, you can pull it out and wear it. That's a great idea. You guys have had a bit of a resurgence. The company was kind of with a lot of American manufacturing mm -hmm. down and out, but this reinterest in Made in America has really uh, brought quite a bit of attention to your company. Definitely. There's, you know, there's the concept of the mill. We're an end-to-end -end manufacturing yeah. facility, but there's also just the American Made in America type of pride, and that's what we've got here. Probably most known for these blankets, right? But there are a lot of other things. Uh, I have one of these scarves, <laughs> and they're just wonderful. Yeah, we're expanding our line. You can see on both ends of the table our new product that we're introducing this year. We've named them after different areas of Minnesota, lakes and cities. That's known as the Ashby Twill. This guy here. Scarf right there on the end, and there's a throw underneath it. And then we've got the Vermilion Mirror here, which is after Vermilion, Minnesota. All right, let's Very hold nice. this up. Uh, you know, what does it mean to you to be able to continue to be providing jobs down in that area? I know it's a big, it's a big deal. It's a really New York big Times just focused <laughs> on it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. It's a really big deal. Uh, what we like about our business right now is that we're really growing and we're expanding. We're able to draw a lot of people from different talents. It's an old skilled labor workforce, yeah. uh, which we think is great, uh, an artisan type of workforce. Well, it shows in the product for yeah. sure. Congratulations. Thank to you. you guys. Thank you very much. The Faribault Woolen Mill 150th anniversary celebration is tomorrow from noon till 6. It is all in historic Faribault Woolen, at the historic Faribault Woolen Mill and the adjoining Slevin Park. The event is free and open to the public. Terry, thanks for coming in. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you very much.